at 9 a.m. Eastern, some highlights from the morning 18. This was Austin Greaser, his third at the fifth. Yeah, coming from a deep greenside bunker, short-sided himself, but a beautiful shot. That's how you go one up. Then at the 10th, a par putt for Greaser. Yeah, came up well short with his second. Tough lag putt to this position. Thought he had it. Was walking it in. So he was one down heading to the 11th. The match was tied as they played 18. And look at this second shot at the last by James Pyatt. Yeah, so important here at 18 to get the ball in the fairway with severe bunkers. Whole location on the back left part of the screen. Uses the slope on the back edge to bring it back towards the hole. Beautiful shot. That would lead to a victory at 18 for Pyatt. He would take a one-up lead heading into lunch. They got going about 30 minutes ago. This the tee shot for Pyatt at the 19th hole, the par four first. Yeah, he had the honor about an hour, a little over an hour and a half break. Right, this headed out right. right. Part of a bogey he would make after he hit a second in the bunker. So Pyatt would lose the opening hole. The match tied then to the 20th, the second at the par four for Austin Greaser. Aggressive play here off the tee to get it within 50, 60 yards and just a beautiful pitch shot after James Pyatt had hit it over the green in two and was in trouble. So Greaser, a win at 19, a win at 20. He's got a one-up lead now as they play the 21st hole of this 36-hole finale. Second shot from the bunker, no Begay down there watching. In a tough spot, but hit a decent shot, got a lot of club. Steve Burkowski, Justin Leonard, the rest of the team with you from Oakmont. Just give himself a pitch at it. Now he is completely in the driver's seat. I think if he gets something behind the hole with a little momentum, it might turn right back towards the flag. He's trying to do that. That's here, skip it. Oh, that's just a great lead. Lots of spin, more than I expected. Two and a half feet for three. Maybe use a little bit of that side slope to kill some of the pace. He's got it laid wide open. Oh, that took a hard bounce. That's gone. Wow. And it is not slowing down anytime soon. Welcome to Oakmont, everybody. Sort of the Oakmont we've been waiting to see all week long, Justin, considering about five inches of rain on this golf course throughout the past four or five days. It's still going. Yeah, the, the damage was done with just a six or seven iron off the tee and to put it in the fairway bunker. Yeah, that's the fourth for Pyatt, so it's going to come right back to him. And I believe that's going to be a concession. It is, so Greaser out of the gates, winning the first two holes in the afternoon to take a one-up lead. On his opponent if he hits his fairway. Well, and he's been uh, really driving the ball where here in the last few holes. Right. This looks like it's going right. Yeah, it's going to miss the sand to the right, I believe, which is a good break. Yeah, that's fine up there. Looks like the lie's pretty decent as well. Now a little bit of an opportunity here for Pyatt if he can just get this in the fairway. That was a beautiful tee shot. Yeah, James Pyatt needed that after the indifferent beginning here on the first couple of holes. Uh, but Matt Greaser's kind of in the driver's seat here early on in the afternoon. Greaser's second on the way at three. James Bone Mackay uh, watching this one. Very aggressive. He just needs to get this on the green and put some pressure on his opponent. This green is very severe. Pyatt second. That's from 108. He can go right after this hole because he should be able to spin it. A great advantage being in the fairway there. Boy, and he has been very aggressive on his lag putts. I haven't really seen him miss a lot of putts inside of 10 feet. Noda, not a great effort there. 
Austin had to figure there was a really good chance he could still be in the hole and have this opportunity to have it. Boy, a confident stroke there after really running by his birdie attempt. Just looking to keep the pressure on. Yeah, those cluster of bunkers down the right-hand side. The one closest to fairway, 300 yards to carry. Shouldn't be a problem. And that's in great shape up the right side. Ku Amazon Fire and Apple TV in your iOS and Android mobile devices. Tee shot for Pyatt. This is hidden bright. I don't know that it's going to cover. <laughs> Little trend here in the afternoon for Pyatt, Justin. Yeah, and that when he does miss a shot, that's where he misses it. He seems to miss to the right. Saw him do that with a couple of iron swings yesterday. Yeah, you want your opponents to have to beat you. Don't give them holes, and this is a nice effort here. Should be just fine. I got it all the way up on the top of the hill, maybe slightly on the downslope, but he'll have a good view of the green from there. Yeah, this is like a, a, a three iron, a driving iron type. It's maybe a little stronger. This needs to cut. Uh, just finds the first green side bunker. That's going to leave a bunker shot with a very long carry. Yeah, I think that's a mistake there, Justin, to put it in that bunker. Either take something that gets over it or something that keeps it short. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Bones. I think a, a three wood would have been better to get it past that, at least get it deeper in the bunker. Yeah, I would think he's still just trying to play about 20 feet short of this whole location because of how narrow it is. Trying to draw it in. He's hung it out just a bit. <laughs> Trying to get up. Oh, it gets a skip there. That worked out terrifically, landing where it did. Well yeah, done. Yeah, a lot of the areas on these older golf courses along the edges tend to, to feed more into the greens as the sand has built up from member play. Yeah, his speed has been really good all day long. Oh. <laughs> yeah, really good putt there. Maybe just a touch less speed. That might have caught the right edge. But this should have just the slightest amount of hook in it. Oh, yeah. Look out for the buzzsaw. <laughs> He's sharp on this afternoon, 18 to this point. I mean, he made that, that up and down of the bunker look pretty pedestrian, but that was a marvelous up and down. Difficult position there he was in. This is way right, way right. Oh, and that might have found the penalty area between the fifth fairway and the fourth that runs back the opposite direction. Oh, I just got out in front of it. Substantial deficit now. Only saw, with the exception of this morning, only went to the 18th hole one time in the previous five matches, so something new he's going to have to deal with as he moves forward. Yeah, and important to put this ball in the fairway, and he doesn't. Might have stayed in the first cut. Well, you catch a break like this, Justin, but to pay it off, what are you going to do with it? Right. You've got to take advantage when you get a good break like this. This is tugged. And that's a poor leaf. Granted, he's got a lot of pitch that he can use in terms of the bunker shot. That's the side to miss it, but it wasn't as tough as he made it look. He was going to play second, so he was going to be able to see the outcome of Greaser's shot. If he was to play first, he might have gone over to take a peek at the lie, but now it's all on him. Might just hit a nice one in here, guys. Sure did. Got to play long and left here. Boy, he actually went for it in terms of the check. I don't know if this has got enough 
to get up on the slope and ultimately come back towards the hole. I was thinking he would play more up towards the fringe and have the ball released back down the hole, but he actually tried to hit something there within a couple of feet. Yeah, and he's lost three of the four holes in this afternoon, so he desperately wants to uh, turn the tide the other way. So the par conceded to James Biden, as Noda alluded to, two opportunities. He would have loved to do it on his own, Justin, but now you can watch Greaser try to tie the hole. Wow, what a great up and down for the second hole in a row. Got a little pep in that step. Tracer Technology brought to you by Lexus, the official vehicle of the USGA. Center of the green. He is able to take that right bunker out of play. He can fly this all the way to the hole if he wants. Uh, two good tee shots here at the par three. Smart play by both players. Whoa now. Boy, and once again, he's hit a long putt well past the hole. Take the speed out with the uphill, takes a little, put, put some speed in, excuse me, take some of the breakout. And as it loses pace, this thing dives to the right. Mm. Almost. That was for James Pyatt to win his first hole this afternoon. Wow. Solid. The coach was right about his putter, wasn't he? It's certainly an amazingly effective weapon in his bag. This appears to be a double cross left again. And there is some thick stuff over there. Can he avoid it a second time? Yeah, he got lucky a couple holes ago. Good swing will go a long way. No, that's not what he did. A little bit of army golf, one left, one right. Now it stayed out of the bunkers, will just depend on the lie, but you know, it's gonna leave him pretty far back there, but certainly in better position than Greaser's in. Uh, the good thing is it's fairly clean behind the ball, just a matter of what the club does at impact. Jumps really high in the air, but this ball is gonna finish in the fairway, so that's a very effective play from there. A good decision there, not trying to get too much out of it to where you're basically giving the hole away. Coming. Sounded like it was a little bit heavy and came out left. Yep, just spread in the rush, not in the string here. Going for the cut spin, he gets it. Maybe not quite as close as he had hoped. Here at Oakmont, you wanna, if you miss, you wanna be on the side going up the hill. And this is a pretty good shot, but it's gonna race well by. Yeah, that might not even stay on the green. Die left as it loses speed. Bogey conceded to James Pyatt. Now, 
So a couple of fives at the seventh. That hole's tied. Greaser maintains that two up lead. This is a bullet on a terrific line. Oh, beautiful shot. Lands about 10 yards short in that approach that Jim Gallagher Jr. talked about earlier. And that's a great shot right in the front center of the green. Hit this just at the left center section, trying to cut back. Good looking shot. Great shot. Oh, that is a great shot. Carries it right on the front edge of the green. Two good ones here at the par three. And then the longer holes like this, the greens are on the tamer side. Oh, it's tracking too. I'm guessing that Bob Ford at some point in his uh, long tenure here probably made one. Oh, my. Two pretty good looks by both Pite and Greaser. Yeah, you make par here at the eighth, a lot of times you're going to win the hole. Greaser, three. Pyatt, three. Greaser, remain two up. We've seen players all week miss his tee shot to the right as the penalty area ditch left this fairway can really get in your head. This appears to be up right. Oh, it just skirts that last fairway bunker. Looks like it found the first cut. That is a massive drive right there. Pyatt here at the ninth just needs to duplicate that and uh, give himself a chance to try and attack this hole. That needs to get to the right. It's up the left edge. Oh, and that one hops into the penalty oh, yeah. area there. You can see the ball. It's going to be on the upslope. Again, as we mentioned, out of the rough, really strong, really hold on tight with that left hand. Got a nice connection on that. See if it runs out. That's a good play there with his short game. You know, he's got a great chance to get the ball up and down and safe par. Going with wedge, very long iron player. This is cutting just left of it. Oh, good shot there. That's going to come off that slope. Get a little bit better. Stay there. Okay, it does. A couple more feet short. That ball might have come all the way back to the front fringe or just off. So. I mean, that was tickling speed right there, and it still went a good three feet past. That bogey all set up by the tee shot. Really well done by Austin Greaser. You heard it right there. Two putt par. Good enough for the 20 year old from Ohio to take a three up lead heading into the final nine of this 36 hole championship match at Oakmont Country Club. Cutting, dead center of the fairway. As long as this gets a good first bounce, should be good. Oh, it does, Bones, and that's going to trundle down. Get over to the left side of the fairway. Much better angle from over there because of the tilt of this 10th green. Perfect shape. Doing what he has to do in the lead and put the ball in the fairway. Yeah. That was a much better move right there. And that's a perfect tee shot as well. Looks to be a little shorter than Greaser, so maybe he's got an opportunity here to put some pressure on. Yeah. 
He's got this online. Beautiful Big time shot. shot. That's exactly what he needed to do. Trying to muscle a pitching wedge back there. Maybe needed that three finger nine. Advantage Pyatt at the 10th. Hey, what? That was really nicely done there. Kept it above the hole. Great three. And it's the first hole he has won this afternoon now, two down through 28. Uphill about 12 yards, so needs to catch all of it. Yeah, he's pulled this. And this is going to be in the 10th fairway. A little bit further left, believe it or not, of where he was aiming, but um, going to be just fine. Ah, that's in good shape as long as he's done his homework. The lie's really important as he did this this morning. Didn't judge the lie and made a bogey from 85 yards. Two good ones off the 11th to the fairway at 10. A little tug on this, gonna need a little kick to the right. Oh, it just sticks right there, good shot. We'll leave a putt downhill, but it's not crazy fast. Primarily a left to right ball flight that puts more spin on it, so that's even more dangerous on this shot doesn't want a lot of spin on this. Nice shot. Well done. Two really good shots by Austin Greaser and James Pyatt on the 29th hole of this championship match, the par 411. Racer five, quiet four, racer one up.
Beautiful touch there. Great contact, committing to what he was doing. Just a great job getting it to just drip over that little rise in the green. And that has been conceded for three. Just gets over that rise, but working its way away from the hole. is going to gain a ton of confidence from making that clutch 20-footer. There's a little swag there. Important one here. This one fading down the right center. If it gets a nice soft kick, it should be just fine. Kicked a little bit right through the first cut and into the rough, but he avoided the bunker in the penalty area, which is the most important thing. This is up the left edge, but now drawing towards the Churchview bunkers. Oh, and it finds the area where Jim Gallagher was describing the church pew over there on the left-hand side. And that's going to be trouble. He knew it. So ball a little bit below his feet, so should allow him just to kind of get he just needs a touch of left to right what he can't afford is to pull this it'll just miss long and left this is a pretty good effort depending on how much run out he gets oh that's an excellent shot under the circumstances carry the front bunker if you will on this angle and get to the front edge but he chooses to go high and a little soft. So that was something more of a layup there. Initially, he was looking at hitting the hook. He's just laid the ball up some 40 yards short of the green. We'll have to get the ball up and down. It's likely to have the hole in four. He's a big bounce. Oh, that's gonna feed away. There's a little low area there in the middle of the green. Needed to carry it another five paces. Here's the reaction. He just sort of knew. Another pace or two more. Quiet for Birdie to go two up. That's all he needed to do right there. Very well played. has been conceded so for the second consecutive hole it's all on the shoulders of greaser boy great try there James Pyatt, two up, three holes to go. They head to the 34th hole of this championship match. With where this hole is cut, looking about 30, 35 feet left of it. It's on a good line if it's enough, and it is. Beautiful shot. That's gonna continue to get a little better. 25 just threw an absolute dart. There you go. And a 
great response by Greaser, although that release is just a little bit. But he went flag hunting there, which he has to at this point in this match. Two great iron shots by our two finalists. Boy, that was never high enough. Boy, great effort there. He was staring that down for a long time. Heck of a response. Yeah, that was a wonderful putt there. Now Pyatt for par to remain two up. They keep going. That is an ideal tee shot right there. Yeah, it just finds the left green side bunker. It's very deep, but as you can see, he's got a lot of green to work with. Trying to work it up the green, given the way that it angles. So close to being so good. A bit of a bunker contest there at the 17th for Pyatt and Greaser. Pyatt trying to close in on capturing this U.S. Amateur Championship again. Oh, just not able to get as much spin on it as he wants. Oh my God, I believe he didn't catch that clean. Yeah, it didn't sound and great. It That's a clutch play. Yeah, it just had a totally different sound, a little more slap of the sand. Not a whole lot down in here that's going to require his best. And just slightly uphill the entire way. How about that four by James Pyatt? That's pretty special there after such a disappointing bunker shot. Granted, it was difficult, but to get the second one up and down, what a putt. No! Let's go! Oh! Let's go! Unable to do it, and with the miss, James Pyatt, the U.S. Amateur Champion here at Oakmont. Congratulations on playing some great golf this week. What do you feel now was the difference in terms of you not being able to quite get your hands on the trophy? Uh, I just didn't execute on the back nine. Just didn't execute the shots I was trying to hit. And, um, you know, he did. And, and hats off to him. He played a good good match, great back nine. And, and uh, you know, the, the cards fell his way this time. And you got some college golf yet to play. How, how will you take what you learned this week, the great playing, everything you accomplished, and apply it going forward? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to learn. It's gonna, um, it's gonna sting a little bit at first, but uh, I might have to get back to you on that. I mean, um, you know, I, I think the the main thing is that you know I know I can play with the best. I know I can beat the best, and um, you know, hats off to everybody else here. But you know, I think it's a it's a tip of the hat to my game too, and how hard I've been working. And um, I'm just gonna keep doing the same things, and 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 work. This will make me work a little bit harder, and hopefully come back a little bit stronger next year. Well, I think you imp impressed a lot of people out there. 
watching today here in person and on television. Best of luck going forward. Thanks for showing us such great golf this week. Yep. Thanks for your time. Now it is our pleasure to present a gold medal and the Havemeyer Trophy to the champion of the 121st U.S. Amateur Championship, James Pyatt. You get out there the first in the morning, you're one up, you get down early. What are you telling yourself when you get down early? Do you tell yourself it's a long day, you keep grinding away? Uh, that was absolutely it. I knew that uh, the driver was a bit shaky, so I knew good swings were coming, and uh, I set a goal for myself. I said I want to play the back nine four under. I think I got the three under, so it was uh, definitely uh, above and beyond either way, but it was uh, just stay, uh, stay confident in myself and keep it going. When you got to Michigan State, you told your coach you wanted to be an All-American. Did you ever dream you'd be a U.S. Amateur champion? <laughs> Oh, man, that's a tough one to answer. I did not think, uh, I still don't believe I'm holding this trophy right now. I still think I'm dreaming. So it's uh, definitely uh, something, you know, crazy that, uh, you know, internally I thought I had the ability to do it one day, but, you know, to actually do it is uh, the greatest thing ever. So, Well, what are the, you know, what are the goals going forward? Where do you go from here? Because things have changed for you now. Just uh, keep grinding, keep getting better. Just uh, take it one day at a time and uh, not look too far in the fo uh, future and just, uh you know, like I said, keep getting better. Well, congratulations of some fun golf, and congratulations to Oakmont. Great week. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Back to you, Steve. Jim, thanks so much. Awfully impressive performance by James Pyatt to get his hands around that Havemeyer Trophy.